Instead of carrying your wallet in your back pocket or your purse, a tech company wants you to keep it under your skin. Hmm. All right, so let's explain here. Wallet More is selling microchips implanted in your hand as an alternate payment. Could this be the future? Maybe. Once you set up your card info in the company's app, look at this, it says payments could be as easy as swiping your hand over a card reader. Right now, chips are not sold in the U.S. Crazy. It has advanced to an extent where we use finger scans and face IDs full-fledgedly. But when it comes to implanting chips under the skin, it doesn't seem to have reached its full potential. The act still feels like a gimmick rather than a modern robotic human. And such is the scenario when this, technolo this technology has already existed for many, many decades. Now, would you ever get an electronic chip under your skin? The chips planted under the skin tend to carry the RFID technology. Now, RFID or radio frequency identification enables technologies like tap to pay and subway cards. So in case you don't want to carry your bags and bank cards to pay, you can have such chips installed under your skin. One can also install sensors and avoid carrying keys to home and unlocking cars. But an important point to note is that such technologies do not work like how they would, for example, in a Mission Impossible film. In fact, they don't work half the time and are still a bit far from being successfully used. Another integral drawback. When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is <laughs> hidden right there, just below the surface in his hand. You like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all in chips. So I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip and it will log me in. Mm -hmm. And from there I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrained procedure with local anesthetic and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. The microchip implants use the same technology that's in contactless credit cards. Which have made cash pretty much obsolete in Sweden. No cash. At this tech fair, a chipping event for those on the cutting edge, merging their hands with this new technology. I thought it would be fun, right? The process is simple and swift. A pinch of the skin and in a matter of seconds, the chip is inserted. The transformation is complete. As for the pain, I barely felt it. But even in this nation of early adopters, not everyone is racing to get chipped. I feel less human. I will feel like a robot. I think, I mean, it's so much more data can go into this, you know, when it's in your body. There's no central registry tracking how many people are chipped, but biohacker Hannes Wellblood estimates between five and 10,000. In the future, do you think everyone is going to be chipped? I think it'll be voluntary, but I am certainly convinced that millions of people will find it very, very valuable to have a smart device under their skin. Human microchipping may be our future, but in Sweden, it's already reality. Sarah. The most cutting edge thing about Hannes Hörblad isn't the phone in his hand. It's the microchip actually in his hand. The tiny implant is the latest advance in a biohacking technology that is steadily becoming a part of normal life in Sweden. We have created a new implant, which is not a chip, it's a full device where you can add different lights, different uh, vibration, different functions. Sweden is a very tech literate society. And I think this is the main explanation really why a lot of Swedes are uh, adopting chip implants. Swedes haven't been shy about upgrading themselves with the new version. Thousands already have microchip implants that they use in their daily lives. Waving their hand to gain entrance to the gym, confirm their ID or make payments. A short moment of pain, not putting them off becoming part Swede, part machine.
This event is an implant party, simply where ordinary people can show up and get a microchip embedded under their skin. The biohacking movement in Sweden is hosting them all over Europe, but it's at home where they get the most willing recipients. I think it's really cool. You don't have to carry any keys or anything. It's just your body. In maybe 10 years, everything will be in your hand. In Sweden, more than anywhere else, the future is already here. The national train company SJE has around 2,600 people signed up to use microchips instead of train tickets. Did you see that? And no need to mind the generation gap. 18-year-old Felicia and father Magnus still bear the scars of their new implants. Student Hannah Herving is also freshly chipped and now just needs to program it to open doors. Although importantly for a future career, it does already connect to her LinkedIn. Some people say I'm mad that um, I don't know if it's safe and all that but people have been putting these chips into animals for 20 years, so I'm not worried about that. The long-term goal is for the new chips to help provide medical care in remote communities. They're already getting under the skin of the Swedes and may soon become just another normal part of modern life and of the human body. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Lund, Sweden. Well, finally, one last story. There's this viral video going around that people are saying is a girl buying groceries using a chip in her hand. Take a look at this. I'm at Whole Foods and I'm about to pay for my groceries with my... <laughs> That's the closest thing ever. Brad, you didn't grow up in Evangelical Inc., so I don't know what this video does to you, but for me, right out the gate, watching somebody appear to scan their hand with a chip in it in order to pay for something, it screams marketing.